Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now today, we're continuing off here in Ragnarok and last time we went out, we found a 165 and a 170 Fire Wyvern. I'd really like to hatch those, see what their stats are. That's always the best part. Now, as for the base, we've got Plant Species X pretty much everywhere. Kind of went crazy on the Plant Species X, to be honest. We've got them pretty much on every piece of the roof. And we got a ton more turrets that I need to fill up today. That's going to be a real big focus for me. I'm not going to take you through it. Don't worry. We're not going to be doing turret bullets today. But we got our Stegos all set. Those were the ones that we're raising up last time. Uh, we didn't have a video yesterday just because we've been doing a lot of stuff around here. And, you know, some sometimes I need a break. We had like five days in a row. That's how it goes. So we've got our turret towers kind of started out here i need to fill them up with ammo now i told my tribe mates i was like if you guys make some turrets put them up on the base and stuff i will go through and i'll put like bullets into all of them it was probably a bad decision because there's a lot of turrets that i gotta put bullets into now uh, i built this bridge though going in between those two sections i think it looks pretty good it was like uneven ground so i'm surprised it like came out so straight now turret tower number one is going to be right there and then the other side, we've got one of these as well. So I'll show you what's going on with that. I think the place is turning out pretty good. I can start incorporating a little bit more of the build into the ruins when we start to expand out to these kind of, I guess, pillars. Um, as for that one, turret tower just kind of directly in the middle just to protect for now. I need to go fill those up. I'm probably going to build a chainsaw, take the weight wyvern, and cut down like the, there's like charcoal trees. It's like the center map. Like there's some trees that you can go, you hit it with a chainsaw or a therizino, and you actually just get straight charcoal from it. So I'm going to make the flight over there. That's why I've got a weight wyvern. It's a lot quicker to get to that side of the map. Take my chainsaw. I want to see if this is actually better than the therizino. And then we're also probably going to get some polymer because I got to get a vault. I need a vault in this base. It's driving me crazy. I've gotten so many drops, got so many blueprints and good stuff, but nowhere to put it. So we need a vault as well. Let's go get some polymer. All right. I did say that this was a weight wyvern, right? It's definitely showing. It's getting its butt kicked by these mantis. <laughs> Seriously, it's not good. I didn't even think about that. About taking like a weak wyvern, but it's okay. It can hold a lot, a lot of polymer. So we've got our moss chops. Obviously, the hands down best way to get polymer now that they reduce the thers. You know, I don't know what's up with um every dino. If you carry it, it gets stuck in the air now when you drop it. It's something new that's been happening, and it's really an issue with Ankies and stuff. So I don't know why he's doing that. Oh my god, freaking assault rifle web launcher over here. What is he doing? That spider. All right, now he's back on level ground. He's not floating anymore. All right, let's keep this spider away. Does it gather my polymer? Then we just wait for our moss chops to come back. They always have to like run away first. They get scared. All right, so he's got none in him. So much we get from this. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. That will do. I think this will be enough. What I'm going to do is, this is obviously way more than I need for a, a vault or two. The rest I will put towards Gilly. Because although Gilly was, if, if you guys didn't know, Gilly got nerfed really hard. Like they reduced the durability on Gilly by quite a bit. So they reduced that and it's not as good as it was before. I'd still like to have a few sets just, you know, just to have the armor around. It's still better than primitive um flack the the blueprints that i have so i'm gonna gather as much polymer as i can carry for that reason and then we'll head back okay here we go got our polymer it's the last thing that i needed back here i was hoping i could make multiple vaults but uh kind of running low in the metal department i forgot that i was so focused on the gunpowder part of the bullets that i totally forgot to take a decent amount of metal so let me get some ghillie going i've got enough Organic put inside the fab where I can just craft my one and only vault. It's gonna be such a benefit though having a gear vault. I just want to put all the good gear into it. So let me grab what I've got left here. How much do I have? Oh yeah, that should be enough. Okay, I think we're good. I came back with like two thousand or something like that. So should be enough to craft up a few things of ghillie. I've only got the <laughs> the head and the pants. So you'll have to mix up flack with gilly whatever we'll find some better blueprints at some point 
Can I for sure not make another one? No. We're, we're only going to have one vault. I think we'll survive, though. All right, I'm going to finish crafting up this ghillie, and we'll be right back. All right, so this is our water vein. As you recall, I did put a water well on it. I put two water wells on it. Both of them have been destroyed. People, quit destroying my freaking water wells. What, what is the benefit of this? So what I'm going to do is I'm walling this thing off. We're putting some fence foundations, metal walls, and I might even put a generator with some turrets. Maybe just like one turret just to deter people from breaking my well. Because it actually does suck being up in this area. There isn't any water. Um or like body of water around here. So I really have to rely off of these little water vein things. So we need to block this off and keep it blocked off for good. So I'm going to put some barricades around here, start setting this thing up and we'll be right back. Oh, arc. Oh, arc. Sorry. It's, it's really dark right now, but look, I, I walled this thing off, made it all nice, started running my pipe up and check this out. Too high above the ground. I can't place it anywhere over here. It just, I just says that it's, I don't know. It's too high above the ground. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. How am I supposed to get water? My bases should be too high above the ground then. Dang it, Ark. We gotta find a workaround to this. <laughs> that really stinks. All right, I ran out of metal because I wasted it all on that stuff. The tribe mate came on though, so we can make some metal trips. First though, I'm killing this raptor found a decently high level one so we're gonna kill this get some xp there we go finally all right how many levels did my inky get oh we got a pike i guess i'll take that he probably took the good stuff i didn't even see what he took all right anyway how many did he get what just one dang it yeah ankies have a, a pretty good melee damage so it's pretty easy to kill any alpha with a maybe not a rex don't go fight a rex or something but usually they're pretty good all right welcome to the ritual i feel like we're performing some type of dark ritual here with our 800 torches but this is the poor man's way to hatch wyvern eggs we've got a couple ac units lined up now but you need a lot for wyverns Flick this one on. They were too cold. Oh no, it's incubating. Nice. Those. Oh, just needed one more. Um, let me place this one down. Maybe in the middle. Dang it. I need more torches. Okay. Wait. It must have just got colder outside because that was incubating a second ago. All right. One sec. All right. I figured while the eggs incubate. I would set up a new water well. I found a new vein over here, actually. So this isn't too bad. It's, it's relatively close. But also kind of gave me an idea. I thought maybe we could fit it through the foundations. And fortunately, we can. Um, at first, I thought maybe the foundations would obstruct it doing it like that. But that is way better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap it off. I'm just put some walls, maybe one turret. I mean, it won't hurt because it is kind of close to our base now. It might actually help to have a turret or two in that general vicinity. But now... We're finally almost going to have water. You should see how many parts I cut out because I'm freaking dying of dehydration. Alright, so too high does cover it. I was worried it would like stick out of the top or something. So this turned out really good. We should have done this on our old Ragnarok server. We kept getting them destroyed. We actually started booby trapping and just putting C4 inside of the water well. And as people would uh, break it, sometimes it would explode. But actually... Somebody told me, so people always ask what happened to the old Ragnarok server and all that stuff. So we were being DDoSed on it all the time and stuff. And anytime we went outside with valuable animals, the server would come down and these people would kill them, right? So finally, actually, someone just told me today um, that that server, it was actually isolated Ragnarok 20 is the one that we were playing on, evidently. I was told it was wiped by the devs because of duping and DDoSing, which had been going on on that server for months, ever since we left pretty much. Like, we were the only competition to the other tribe, and the other tribe was the ones doing that kind of stuff. So I just thought, I don't know, if you haven't seen that series, obviously it doesn't make any sense, but a little follow-up to that while I'm building a boring water well. 
Look at that. It actually doesn't look so bad. We might even throw another turret, put some plant species X on all the slanted ones, obviously. And then I think I'll also maybe put a few crops or something in here. Might as well use it. Who knows? But I'm going to connect these pipes. We're going to get this run in the base and we'll be right back. Oh, they're here. This one's a really cool color. He's like the all red. Okay, let's check it out. What are the, what are the stats? Oh my god, that is a horrible HP. That HP is bad. Stamina is really good though. Usually they're around 500 or so. Health, I would want it to be like 8 or 9k at least. Dang, 5k on a fire? That's, that's pretty low. But he's got a decently high stamina and also an okay melee. Look who's decided to join the 165. Let's see who's got the better HP. 8.7k. Not bad. That's like a pretty average one. Lower stamina than our stamina beast over there. And melee is lower as well. So, there we go. That's a good start. Let me get him out of here. Come on. Hello? Oh, I gotta put them on low. They won't be able to follow me. They're not that smart, guys. Alright, so, I'm gonna let these sit for a bit. Hopefully, on their first imprint, they don't need milk. I'm hoping to keep the milk to a limited amount of runs because we don't have a, a wyvern trap. I think I'm gonna use somebody else's wyvern trap that's over there and hope for the best because I haven't set one of those up. When we do, like, a big wyvern raise, we actually start really getting into that. I'll build... A trap and everything but since there's one out there might as well use it right so we'll do that um get these out of the torches we're back all right i jinxed it my first wyvern needs wyvern milk for the imprint and i can't i can't let him down i gotta go get it so we're gonna go get our first trip of wyvern milk the other one just was a nice wyvern nice easy wyvern and just wanted to walk nice and simple but the other one of course needed milk so i gotta travel halfway across the map and we're going to capture a female wyvern for milk. Alright, we've made it. We might set up a trap on the coastal wyvern trench. I think that might actually be easier to catch them. And also closer to base. That is not what we want. Is that the... Oh, that's the only one I see in this area. So there's the trap. I saw it over there the other day, figured we'd use it. It's, it's one of the doorless variety, so it's pretty simple for pretty much anyone to use. I'm going to grab one and just bring it right over here. Alright, let me search around, see if I can find a decent female. I don't know why there aren't any in like this section at all. <laughs> Where? Oh, there's a guy in a train, I don't know. I gotta be careful because I'm not trying to get picked over the wyvern trench. Okay, I really don't want to bring a lightning because griffins really aren't faster than wyverns unless they're diving and lightnings can do a lot, but all we've got is this level 45 and it is above the trench. It's in a good position for me to grab it alone. So I think we'll just grab that. Let me just check this poison really quick. Oh, it's like out of range. Alright, I think I'll just take my, my chances with this lightning one. Since it's already like above the trench, I won't like aggro all the wyverns trying to get it. Alright, come here. Come here, lady. I need your wyvern milk. What you get by knocking them out. For some reason, you, what, you rummage around in their inventory? Their backpack? I don't see the backpack, but I don't know. No, I'm just rambling. Come on, let's go. I was saying this was, like, gonna be dangerous or something. You're proving me wrong. Alright, my stamina's getting low, so we gotta get it soon. There we go. First try, not bad. Still hit me somehow. Alright, now don't you run away. Let's get into a... Oh, oh. really didn't do that much. I thought it would do a lot more, to be honest. Alright. Let's knock this thing out. Oh, don't go. Don't get out. Alright. 
Yep, the goal with these ones, the ones without like the door or anything, is to just try and aggro it straight away from me so it gets like stuck. If I stay here, it should try and fly away from me for the rest of the time, I hope. Until it turns around and kills me. Alright, I'm gonna knock this thing out, steal its milk, and now we can uh, feed our children back at base. Let's feed this needy, needy Drogo. And get the rest of this into our preserving bins. Actually, I need to go out. I need to find some salt. Not sure where salt is on this map because I've got the sulfur to make preserving salt. But it would it would be nice to have some actual preserving salt to toss this with. We'll put all this in here quick. And there we go. So, we got our water system finally set up. These babies should be done in, I don't know, two days or something like that. So we'll have some fire wyverns to mess around with. Fire wyverns are actually what you need to kill alphas um, because you can't get as damaged on a fire wyvern. So from now on, we might even just be able to kill alphas for XP and stuff like that once these guys are all set. So he's got 30 minutes on his imprint. You've got 47 I'll come back when these are all set. That's where I'm going to stop for today. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You have a great Easter day, and of course, we'll catch you next time.